Hey everyone, a uh, bit of a weird angle. I'm currently in the car. Um, I have been so busy this morning, packing, repacking, making sure I have everything. Um, our neighbors were having building work, so I didn't vlog this morning because it was so, so busy and noisy. Um, so I've just stopped off at some sort of service station on the M4, and then I'm gonna grab something to eat for lunch because I've not eaten anything, and then drive to the place. So I will catch you up then. Hey everyone, so I've just stopped off at the pit stop on the way. I'm just on the M4 and it is half past 12. Um, Check-in doesn't open till 3, so I'm leaving in good time. I just picked up a strawberry and banana smoothie and I'm stuck back to eat lunch because I've not eaten anything today. Um, and I thought I'd sit outside in the sun away from everyone just before I get in the car for like an hour and a half. And so yeah, I thought I'd check in with you and let you know what's happening. I just got here i'm in the periwinkle pod thing which is so cute you can park right next to it so it's super easy and then if you come around here this is your little garden which is quite private because there's kind of like bushes on each side and you have a table a fire pit um you can pay extra for firewood which i have done so this is the little pod which is so cute and then inside you have a table, um, a TV, bin, curtains for the night time. Then you have a little sofa. I think this is a bed as well. So sofa, bed. I really love the cute decor. It's quite cute in here. Then you've got a double bed. I paid extra for bedding. I think it was like £10 as well. This is the bathroom here. You've got your kitchen. So I paid extra for like cutlery and bowls and plates and things like that then you have a hob a kettle toaster microwave fridge and some cupboard space and a sink and then your bathroom so this is your bathroom i'll just turn the light on so you have your toilet sink and then your shower as well so i believe you open this and it drains out so yeah, no, really happy with it. It's so sunny, which I wasn't expecting. So that's absolutely lovely. And yeah, I'm gonna unpack now um, and I'll show you how I <laughs> how I kind of store everything. Um, and then I'm gonna go get some food because I don't have any food. I'm also gonna change because I'm really hot from the car journey. But yeah, super, super cute. Just got here, it's quarter past three. Um, I got changed because I was absolutely baking. This place is so cute and so peaceful, so I'm going to have an amazing week, I already know. I'm going to go to the local town now to pick up some food, just kind of like milk, eggs, bread, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to come back and organise this mess because, yeah, I've just kind of dumped it for now. Um, and then I'm going to clean the surfaces. I know they're probably already clean, but just so I know in my mind that it's 100% clean. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do and I'll bring you with me. back from the co-op this is what i got so this is for five days and four nights my idea is i'm going to try and do one shop i need to all up um and this is going to be for like breakfast lunch and dinner so i'm going to try and take lunch with me where i can so i have lots of crisp because i love to snack on them and they're great for kind of lunch rice crackers again really good to snack on kitchen towel toilet roll then we've got san pellegrino i was going to get diet coke but it's quite expensive so i got that Waters, I know, I, you know, normally would try and use my reusable water. I do have that with me, but this is just kind of in the night um, when I can't get any water from um, any sources. Weetabix for breakfast. Noodles, possibly a lunch option. Popcorn for the evening. Then I've got tea and milk and eggs, because obviously you need them. Uh, Mars bars and hot chocolate. I thought if it got a bit colder here at night, that would be quite nice to have. Burgers, because I can do them on the fire pit cheese and ham for like sandwiches or salads uh gem lettuce two lots of strawberries because they're nice for dessert and for breakfast fruit uh, apples because they're my favorite green apples tomato avocado and no <laughs> cucumber tomato and avocados because i can use them for lunch um and the avocados for breakfast or whatever i want to do grapes salad dressing then i got these because i thought they were really cute and i can put one in um, a box for like lunchtime and things like that and they're vanilla so i like that banoffee pie for dessert in the evening 
Then I got a chicken stir fry because that's kind of one dinner slash lunch. I got mushrooms because I thought I could have um, eggs and mushroom omelette. Then I've got hummus and olives because they're just snacky things. And then I got butter. This is not normally the butter that I like, but it's just me. So I just got it because it was cheap. Uh, yogurt because I can have that with strawberries and grapes. And then just some apple juice. So yeah, that's what I decided to get. I also forgot to add that I got some creme caramel, again for dessert, <laughs> digestives to have with some tea in the afternoon and also some white bread for breakfast or lunch for sandwiches. Just be aware that the fridge is very small so I've had to leave a few things on here. I've literally squeezed everything into, oh, into the fridge and as you can see things are still falling out. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. You've got a very, very small fridge and freezer. Um, so. I'm gonna unpack the rest of it. I'm gonna put this box maybe underneath here so that I can have a bit of room up here and yeah, unpack the rest because at the moment it's everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, <laughs> I look like a sweaty mess because I am a sweaty mess. Um, I've just kind of rearranged stuff. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's kind of just a rough thing because it's just me staying here. I don't really care what it looks like. So I'm gonna show you. Get my case here just because it's easy access and my bag I'll just leave there. Then we have my kind of beauty slash body stuff, books and stuff, drinks, um, crisps, and then that's just other stuff that I don't really need but just have there in case. Um, then we have a bin. I know they have a proper bin over there, but I'm just gonna use that one for now. Um, and then I have all my food in the fridge that I can fit in the fridge. I have up here fairy liquid hand soap um bin bags tea bags and kind of a, the fruit and stuff because i want to try and keep it out of the sunlight as much as i can um and to uh, tissue paper then i have the toilet roll down here um all the kitchen stuff i just put underneath there because it just um is really easy to keep underneath there then i have the bed which i've just made which is why i'm such a hot sweaty mess and then ted's just there then yeah i'm gonna keep the toilet roll here because when you have a shower you kind of i think you it the drain the drain is here so it goes the water goes down here so obviously when i have a shower i'll take the toilet roll out so that it doesn't get wet but yeah that is it and i think i might do a bit of exploring now because it's still i think it's only like six half six and it's still so hot and sunny out but you can see all of the bugs there's so many bugs so yeah i'm definitely probably gonna get bitten just walking around the place that i'm staying at on the estate and they have animals so they've got donkeys which are just eating and there's a goat just here so that's pretty cool and then i think there's some sheep down there and possibly some pigs so i'm gonna go and walk down and see what i can see here's mr goat hello i don't know what he's doing up there he obviously likes it up there hello and then over here we have the cutest donkeys ever now i absolutely love donkeys and they're just eating their dinner so they might come out afterwards but they're just so cute and fluffy and tiny look oh adorable in this field we have cows which all the way over here you can see them this one's like really really fluffy bless him and then over there i think we have llamas so we're gonna go check out the llamas or the alpacas not sure which is which but yeah and then this is just in front of where the pods are so this is what you look out onto in the morning and it's just so peaceful and then the pods are like like here so yeah very nice to wake up to but i don't think the cow is going to come over he's pretty pretty happy over there but he's looking over he can definitely see me but he's not coming over yet now you tell me, are these alpacas or llamas? How do you tell the difference? Because I don't I have no idea if what they are, but they're very cute. There's five of them, I think. So yeah, and then this is like, I think this is a country road here. And then if you turn around, you have, it's just amazing. It's so peaceful here. And then this is where like the pods are here. So yeah so so amazing absolutely love it and it's so peaceful so i'm definitely gonna really enjoy it here here we have some sheep oh look they're fighting there you go <laughs> i think they're all rams because they all have horns but they might not be but yeah and then like i think this like down here is like all the estate as well so you can walk around it which is very nice 
I was gonna go see if the donkeys have finished their food. There's not many sheep in here, there's like five. So yeah, very, very lovely. Here are the goats, there's more goats. You've got three on the ground and two up climbing, which is very cute. Um, and then the donkeys, I think I've finished feeding. So let's go and see them and see if they might come up to us. I just got back from exploring. I am knackered. That drive was quite long actually, and it was really hot as well. And my car doesn't have aircon, so it makes it even hotter. Um, so just relaxing here. I think I might read a bit of my book or a bit of a magazine and then do dinner in a little bit because I'm not too hungry yet. But yeah, oh my God, look, I'm so hot and sweaty. That is how hot it is. It's like 24. But it still feels very hot here, which is nice. I've just been to see the animals, which is really, really cool. I'm going to go back tomorrow and see if the um, donkeys come out because that'll be really nice to see them. And yeah, I'm going to have a little bit more of a wander around tomorrow. For my first dinner, I've gone for a ham and cheese sandwich, uh, tomatoes, olives and a creme caramel. I'm also going to have a muffin, pro uh, a cupcake as well. But I was going to do, <laughs> I was going to do chicken stir fry. But I completely forgot that I didn't buy any oil. So I'm going to have to pick some oil up tomorrow because I'm not going to be able to cook that otherwise. Um, and then I'm going to have some fruit as well, I think. Yeah, so that is what I'm going to have for dinner. I've just had dinner and I am knackered. The drive was just pretty long. Um, anyway, so I think I'm going to change into my pyjamas. Um, maybe put a film on and just relax. Um, read some of my magazine. So yeah, I'm going to leave today's video here. I've really enjoyed it so far. I just feel like I'm going to have such a peaceful week and hopefully a good night's sleep because it's nice and quiet here. So that should be really good. Um, and yeah, that is all for today. So I hope you liked it. Um, stay tuned for all of the other days. There's going to be four or five more videos. I'm going to do a video a day. Um, so yeah, take a look out for them. I just wanted to show you the sun setting outside. So you can see gradually setting and it's just so beautiful and so peaceful here i did say i was going to finish the video earlier but i decided to film because it's seven o'clock i've just had my dinner i've changed into my pajamas i have a lovely cup of tea for the evening which is actually very hot um and a cupcake that i'm gonna eat now and that's gonna be it um i'm just about to watch some tv and then i think i'm gonna go to bed quite early because i'm absolutely knackered um and the wi-fi is not that great here so it's hard to communicate with friends and family so at least it means i can go to bed and not get distracted um and then i just have you guys to talk to so yeah i will leave this video here and i will see you in tomorrow's video